All right, TM Nation, so I own just about every pair of Skull Candy earbuds that has come out within the past few years. And although most of them are still available at your local Best Buy today and you can walk in and pick them up, some of them are probably not worth buying just because of how old they are. You gotta remember guys that tech moves fast and taking a look at the OG Skull Candy sessions that came out just about three years ago, you can still find them for just under 30 bucks, but the specs are nowhere near what you can get for that price today. The battery life, for example, is terrible in comparison to earbuds that you can get at that price point that came out recently. If you don't remember, they only offer about three hours worth of use on a charge and an extra seven with the case for a total of 10. And that's definitely not good by today's standards. There are earbuds out there at this price point that you can get up to 10 hours worth of use on a single charge. So that being said guys, in this video I'm gonna give you my top five picks from Skull Candy that are still viable in 2023. First on the list we have the Indie ANCs which you can usually find on sale for about 60 bucks and these provide good all around performance along with a nice snug fit in the ears for me personally. These are on the list because they bring all of the goodness that we know and love from the Indie lineup with the addition of active noise cancellation. And and in terms of the ANC performance, I am happy to note that it is respectable. Now it is not top tier like your Bose and Sony earbuds, but these will do just fine for someone looking to use them for public transit or to reduce general ambient noise. And the audio quality is what you would expect from a mid to upper tier pair of Skull Candy earbuds. The focus is definitely on the bass and the mids, but they also provide a decent amount of clarity with the highs as well. Besides that, they do provide provide wireless charging with the case and they are compatible with the older Skull Candy app that does allow you to adjust your EQs and things of that nature but it does not have the newer Skull IQ functionality which I will show you guys a little bit later. Now I will say that the battery life with them is not excellent when you're using ANC. With it on you can get up to five hours of use on a charge but if you turn it off you can almost double that and get up to nine. But like I said guys if you're familiar with Skull Candy Candy sound signature. These won't surprise you, but I do think that they sound better than average and they should be more than adequate for most people. Next on the list, we have the Push Active Earbuds, which are a really good choice if you're looking for a solid pair of exercise earbuds. These usually are on sale for 60 bucks as well. And although they don't feature ANC, the battery life is really good at up to 10 hours on a charge. They're IP55 dust and water resistant, and they're also compatible with the Skull IQ functionality, which is an added voice assistant outside of Bixby and Siri, for example, that will allow you to execute many different functions directly from the earbuds without touching your device. Hey Skull Candy, volume up. Hey Skull Candy, volume down. Hey Skull Candy, pause. Now these are newer than the Indie ANC, so they use the new and improved Skull Candy app, and they also feature Bluetooth 5.2 instead of 5.0. I'd also say that the sound quality of these is a step up from the Indie ANCs as well. They offer a slightly more well-rounded sound that doesn't distort or become as muddy at the higher volumes. Next on the list are the Sesh ANC earbuds, and these are just a really solid pair of all around everyday earbuds. You can usually find them for about 80 bucks, and they provide the classic Sesh design with decent ANC performance, respectable battery life at about six hours with ANC on, and up to nine with it off, compatibility with the new Skull Candy app, and improved sound quality in comparison to the Sesh earbuds that came before them. I can use these for pretty much everything. They fit snugly in my ears for the gym. I can jog in them without worrying about them falling out. And when I'm outside walking with them, the ANC reduces a good amount of the noise going on around me. So overall guys, if you're a fan of the Sesh design and you want the best sound quality that you can get from the series, this is definitely the pair that you should go for. They don't give you that muddy and tinny sound that you can get with the other Seshes and overall, they sound a lot more refined. The Grind Fuel earbuds are my next pick and this is probably my favorite pair of all around Skull Candy earbuds available right now. The sound quality with these is noticeably cleaner all around in comparison 
comparison to the others, they also offer good battery life at up to 9 hours on a charge. They use the new Skull Candy app with Skull IQ functionality. You get wireless charging with the case, and the design is similar to what you'll get with the Sesh earbuds, which I find comfortable for pretty much all types of listening. Now, these don't feature ANC, but if you want the cleanest sound from a pair of Skull Candy earbuds that covers the bass, highs, and mids equally well, these are worth a look at around 60 bucks. Last on the list is gonna be the Jib True 2s, and this pair is for those who don't care about ANC, the Skull Candy app, or wireless charging with the case. These are for someone who wants a decent sounding pair of earbuds from Skull Candy at under 40 bucks, with good battery life at up to nine hours on a charge, a little water resistance in case you need to use them at work or for exercise. This is basically a no frills pair of earbuds that will give the average person and the basics at an affordable price and even somebody that's looking for their first pair of skull candy earbuds just to get acclimated with the sound and the general build quality i don't think that these are a bad place for you to start now i will say that the sound quality is not excellent in comparison to the others on this list these do sound the best at between 50 and 75 percent of the max volume anything above that is when they start to become quite harsh and distorted but as long as you don't completely max them out the highs and mids are relatively clear and the bass is tight and punchy as well and that brings me to the next section of this video which is gonna be the call quality i know that this is a concern for a lot of earbud buyers so i wanted to put all of the samples in the same spot so that you can compare them for yourself and decide which sounds the best to your ears all right guys so right now i have the jib true 2s paired to my iphone 14 pro as you can see the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on them and I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this sample, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how they perform in a relatively quiet room. And now I have some simulated background noise playing in the background. This part of the test is aimed at seeing how well these microphones will focus on my speech while rejecting some of that noise. And now I have the Sesh ANCs paired to my iPhone 14 Pro. Everything else about this test is exactly the same, so this should give you a good idea of how these perform. And now I have the simulated background noise playing in the background, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will focus on your speech while rejecting some of your ambient noise. Now I have the Indie ANCs paired to my iPhone 14 Pro. Everything else, like I said, is exactly the same. Not gonna do any type of editing to this sample, so this should let you know how these perform in terms of call quality. Now I have the simulated background noise playing in the background. It is gonna stay at the same level throughout all of these tests, so this should give you a pretty good idea of how well these will focus on your speech while rejecting some of your ambient noise. And now I'm paired to the iPhone 14 Pro with my Push Actives. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on them, so this should give you a good idea of how these perform in a relatively quiet room. And here is the background noise test with the Push Actives. Everything else remains the same, so this should let you know how well these microphones will focus on your speech while rejecting some of your ambient noise. And now I have the Grind Fuels paired to my iPhone 14 Pro. I know I sound like a broken record, but I'm not going to do any type of editing to this sample. So here you go. And now here is the background noise test with the Grind Fuels. From what I remember, I think that these did a pretty good job of focusing on your speech while rejecting some of the noise going on around you. But it has been a while since I've used these. So here you go. With all of that being said, guys, there are obviously other Skull Candy earbuds out there that did not make this list. But as I mentioned earlier, I have videos on pretty much all of them, so you can check those out if you want to know more about a specific pair. In this video, I tried to rate them based on their usual price, the features offered, and their overall performance. But feel free to let me know in the comments section if I left a pair off this list that you think should have been included, or if you own a pair or multiple multiple pairs that did make the list, let me know what you think about their performance. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.